Good morning, everyone. We are continuing here in the base Halevi on Avas Yisrael. And the last time that we learned together before Tisha B'av, the base Halevi was explaining that the reason that the prohibition of Sinas Chinam is such a terrible and divisive hate is because since that HaKadosh Baruch created a person and he calls him Bini Bechari, he calls a, another Jew, my son and my firstborn. Im kein heich adam, how could a person be such a mechutzef, have such audacity, that you hate the children and the beloved ones of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. If every single Jew is a child of Hashem and you hate that Jew, that means you're hating Hashem's children. As a chutzpah that a person has, how can we do such a thing? And he continues this train of thought and he writes, Umi, Shesayne Benoi, somebody who hates Hashem's child, Va'oyavoy, and the one that is beloved to him, Ki'ilu Chalilo Sayna, it's as if, God forbid, you hate HaKadosh Baruch himself. You hate the child, you hate the father who gave birth to that child. The, the young boy bothers you, so you must be disturbed and you must be bothered by the parents of that child. And therefore says the Beis HaLevi, somebody who ends up expressing sinas chinam, hatred for another Yid, and he boils inside his blood, he's so disappointed, so frustrated, so aggravated with this person, he looks down on him, curses the very ground that he walks on, he has bad thoughts and negative thoughts about him, says the says the Beis HaLevi, what does that do? That means it's like an expression of a hatred that you have for Hashem. The Sinas Chinam is not just hating another Jew, but it's hating the father that he comes from, which is HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Like it says in the Gemara, which says anyone who slaps the cheek of his friend, Ki'ilu Saita, as if you're slapping the cheek of the Rebbein Nisha'ilam. And this really is a very strong machshav, an idea for a person to think about. Every time that they want, they start getting involved in sinas chinam, in their hatred for another Jew. Just think to yourself, I'm not just hating him. By hating him, I'm expressing a hatred that I have for HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Who wants to be labeled as a hater of Hashem? Who wants to be labeled as somebody who is looked at in Shemaim as, as the person who walks around this world and every per, everyone that he glares at and he glances at and he looks down on, he's known as a Yisraeli, Yisrael, he hates another Jew, but says, HaKadosh Baruch it's much worse. You hate me. And if we hate the Rebbein Nisha'ilam, we are going to be in very big trouble. Because once that you hate Hashem, it is going to destroy your connection with HaKadosh Baruch Hu. It is going to sever your connections to Amuna, to belief to your avas Hashem, to your love of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, to your appreciation for all that Hashem has done. You'll be someone that is walking around all day long, brooding on the inside with hatred, and you will end up carrying that out to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And then anything that is going to go wrong in your life, anything that is going to be challenging in your life, anything that will be a disappointment in your life, so you're going to blame it on the Rebbe Nisha'ilam. Instead of doing what we're supposed to do, as the Beis HaLevi has spoken about before, and that is, look at ourselves. Examine our deeds. Try to figure out what did we do wrong in order to bring about this consequence or this response from the Rebbe Nisha'ilam. Once that we do that, then Be'ez Hashem, there's a chance that we have to become Oyevei Yisrael, those that love Klal Yisrael, and Oyevei Hashem, those that love the Rebbe Nisha'ilam. But as long as we are living in a world of sin, of hatred, we have the eye in Ra, we have the bad eye that sees only the negativity, we'll hate others, and Rachman al-Litzlan, we come to hate Hashem. And nobody wants to go down in history as the person that hated HaKadosh Baruch Hu, especially when we have so much to be grateful for and so many brachas in our lives and so much that we have to examine and look at in the right way. And once that we see that, then Be'ez Hashem, we see the good, we see HaKadosh Baruch Hu, we see His loving embrace, we see His hands of benevolence and chesed, 
And then we can recognize that every single Jew that we come in contact with, who in fact is the child of Hashem, as I love Hashem, I love His children. And sometimes it's hard to find how I'm going to love HaKadosh Baruch when the world is piling up against me. Nevertheless, I know that Hashem makes no mistakes and therefore what He's doing is right so I can still love Him. So too, if this is His child and He created Him perfectly, exactly the way that He wanted to, so then I will look and I will seek and I will search and I will find the ways to love my fellow Jew as well. Have a wonderful day.